Hi, good day. Welcome to CMS. Today we'll know how to make a work program and scheduling for your project. That's the main step three. We'll go for scheduling. We'll find the scheduling showing us five steps. We'll find here the first step, 3.1, commencement date and holidays. Second step is related to the manpower and productivities. Third step is how to develop the schedule itself. Fourth step, which is an output for the cost baseline and the cash flow. And fifth step is to how to show the manpower histogram. We'll find here the first step, 3.1, commencement date and holidays. We have to insert for CMS what is the potential commencement date or the agreed commencement date and also the holidays which will be deducted automatically from the time schedule. CMS will direct us for this page, which is informing us which have these main buttons, which are required for moving through CMS. And here to insert now the commencement date. To insert the date, CMS will ask you for the password, which is CMS uppercase or in capital letters shall be inserted by month, then day, and year. Then you'll insert the potential holidays, which will be during the project period of execution. Then you'll go for next step, either from here, or you go back for schedule and choose it. Let's see how to deal with it. When you open this page, you will find here the main part, which included also the buttons to go through CMS pages. And here is the buttons which directs you for the steps which you have to follow to complete your task. First step here, we ask you to click to run. CMS completed step one, go to step two. Okay. Step two is click to render. CMS will start rendering now. Okay. Okay. Step two is click to prepare. Let's click. CMS will start preparing now. Preparing is done. Thanks for waiting and go to step three. Okay. That's step three. Modify the productivities for each activity if required. As we see here, this table is included all the type of works, the activity name, and the related civil manpower for each activity. We have carpenters, steel fixers, masons, plasterers, Tile fixers, painters, helpers, and technicians. For each activity, CMS have already productivity for each type of activity, which will be there in CMS database. Of course, you can modify it and change it according to your site condition and according to your company manpower and according to your project. If you don't have this information, you can keep the productivity as it is, because that's the common productivity for, for such activities. For example, if we are talking about the shuttering for slabs and beam, shuttering is here, shuttering is here means scaffolding and shuttering work and deshuttering after remove, after casting, and even the back propping. That means you have to insert the productivity, which is covering all this. Again, the scaffolding, scaffolding, the shuttering, the deshuttering, and, and back propping. It is eight square meter for each carpenter, but four meter for a helper. That means 
each eight meter need one carpenter and two helpers for scaffolding fixation for shuttering with timber and deshuttering and back cropping for steel fixing for a column or walls let's consider here one steel fixer will give us 300 kilogram of steel fabrication and restoration and also one helper will give the same that means one steel fixer and one helper will give us 300 kilogram of steel fabrication and restoration and so on if you have another productivities you can insert it easily suppose you don't like the 300 your labor can do only 200 you can change it easily he will ask you for the password it is CMS in capital letter or uppercase then you can change it as you like according to this change and the same for all the activities that's all the activities which are calculated before in our quant surveying and the cost estimation so you can easily change the productivity as you like that's step number three only to change the productivity if you don't have a productivity you can keep it step number four is to modify the durations for activities if without manpower which is in the Maronish border cells like what like the mobilization and the engineering same is considering the mobilization and the engineering are an activity which should be took place or implemented in the beginning of the project using a special stuff and he considered here as a one activity without details the details only will be in the boq it's considered as a price only but if you need to make a detail for this you can make it separately but you have to insert here the required duration to complete or if you didn't insert We'll keep it with zero and CMS will consider this mobilization and demobilization and engineering work it will go through all the duration of the project this according to your discretion only that's step number four step number five is insert initial manpower so here we have here carpenters steel fixers masons plasters tile fixers painters and helpers what the meaning of the initial manpower? It will not be fixed and it will not be final. It's only an initial manpower to allow CMS to start generating his scheduling. And you can insert it with any numbers you need. Maybe you can start with your company capacity, or you can start with the, with the numbers which you can provide for the project. Accordingly, CMS will start calculate calculate all the duration for the project. But it, it will not be a final, and we'll see how. Suppose we'll consider here, we'll start with 50 carpenters, with 50 steel fixers, and we'll start with 40 masons, and 40 plasterers, and 40 tile fixers, and 40 painters. As we said, it will not be the final. It's only a number to allow CMS start only his work in the schedule that's step number five very easy so according to these numbers CMS will provide you an overall duration and start his work to give you the duration for each activity then step number six which is go to schedule bar chart click it you'll find you are now in, in the schedule CMS now directed us to schedule so we have to also follow the steps first you can see now the schedule the schedule here is contains also of this button which is allow us going through the cms step number one click to run cms completed step one go to step two step two click to repair cms will start preparing now it will take a few minutes. Click OK.
preparing schedule is ready thanks for waiting and go to step three actually this action took a few minutes due to a huge amount of calculation and formulas it took a few minutes and that's it, the longest preparation step in the cms anyhow preparing schedule is ready thanks for waiting and go to step three step three is modify the relations and sequences between activities as we see here that's the component of the schedule the type of the work the id the activity name the value for each activity which is a planned value each activity have its planned value which shall be consumed till complete of this activity and also the weight of this value again is the project value and this is also and this is very important to identify how much these activities are important according to the volume or the weight of this activity against the project here you'll we'll find the actual cost and planned completion and actual completion which are not our concern now this will be used in the uh, management monitoring and controlling the project and also you will find here the duration which is our target we need to reach for a target for the planned duration and here is the actual duration also this is not our concern now this will be used in the management in the project monitoring controlling and management and here we'll find the planned start and planned finish for each activity and of course planned start and planned finish for the project which will know how to ensure it now and here is the actual which also will be used only in the management of the project after during execution the most important part now in this step is the relations which activity is predecessor for the others what the relation between these activities and what's the lag or lead between the activities that's our concern now to modify these relations cms have already the logic sequence or we can say the hard logic sequence between the activity it's already there in the database but of course according to your project and according to your activities and according to your description you can modify these relations and you can modify also the lag and lead between the activities that means you have to check each activity and what is the relation between each activity and the others for example if we are talking about the relation between the BCC under foundation when it will be start we'll find it have a relation with the activities before of course we cannot start the BCC under foundation till we almost complete or at least start in the backfilling and the anti termite so we consider here this activity which is number 70 have a relation with number 65 and 60 how it is with 65 which is the termite work the bcc must be casted in parallel with the termite only almost one day variance maximum so what we will fill in the predecessor and how to what are the relations and what are the lag predecessor we have to insert here the activities which is predecessor for the for this specified activity for example for this pcc which is number 70 it have a predecessor activities this activity de depend on them the bcc under foundation of course depend on the anti termite and the backfilling we cannot do bcc without anti termite and without backfilling before the bcc it's a hard logic relation that means activity number 70 have a hard logic relation with activity number 60 and 65 what kind of this relation actually cms provides three kinds of relations either it is finished to start or start to start or finish to finish finish to start as everyone knows that this activity cannot start till the predecessor activity is finished 
start to start, that means both activities can be start in same time. Finish to finish, that means both activities can finish in same time. Plus the leg, what the meaning of leg, which is the overlap or the gap between the activities. If the leg is positive, that means there is a gap between the two activities. If the leg is negative, that means there is an overlap between the activities. For example, if the relation between 70 and 65 is start to start, but 70, which is the BCC, will start after one day from the termite treatment starting. So we have to insert here one. If it starts after five days, we have to insert five. We'll find here now that even the part chart is changed and the duration. And of course, the planned start is also changed. Same time, it's also have a relation finish to finish with the backfilling. It can, but it must be finished after 12 days of completion of activity number 6. Accordingly, CMS will provide the start and finish. So CMS consider here the first date, the first day, which is the commencement day is the 1st of November 2019. And accordingly, CMS will generate the schedule. The same will be done for all the activities. You just check if you accept this relation and this sequences of work which are provided in CMS, or you need to change or to make any kind of modification. You have also to consider your time constraint, which is provided by the client or the consultant, or even according to the market situation, if you are a developer. Suppose you need your project to be completed in 900 days so you have to go for each one for each activity and check the relation between each predecessor one by one till you satisfy the relations there is very important note here you have to ensure every valid activity which have planned value amount the pv amount must have at least one relation because if you keep any activity without relation for example like this your schedule will be damaged it will not work it's given here an unlogic dates so you have to ensure each activity must have at least one relation this is very important when you find any error, that means you understand that you have a mistake or you have a problem. There is one, there is one activity without relation. Then we'll go for step number four. Step four is to modify the activities member quantities in productivities page, which is this, till reach to the targeted durations. What does it mean? Now we have the activities with their sequence and relation. According to these activities and the initial manpower, which already inserted before in the productivity page, and the sequence and relation between each activity, we reach for this duration. And also we have the tentative start and finish for each activity. And we have here the duration, the tentative duration according to all these information. But of course, as any kind of project, there is a time constraint. If this duration is matching your time constraint, so stop here. And now you have the schedule. If not, you have to modify the manpower, which is inserted to the project. For example, we'll consider here our target for this project is 900 days. This project must be completed in 900 days. So how to change this number? For this, we have to go for step four. Step four, go to step seven in productivities page till reach to the targeted duration. Let's go 
for step seven. Step seven here telling in parallel with step six, which we was now in the schedule bar chart, use goal seek method to modify the manpower till satisfy the total duration. That's the total duration which we have. We need to change this manpower, but instead of trial and error, we'll go for what if method or goal seek method. How to make this one? By selecting this cell, which is the duration, which we need to reach for 900 by goal seek method. That's 900 by changing cell, this cell for the members. Okay. The process is started now. Reach for the 900. Okay. We'll find here the number of the manpower is changed to reach for 900 days as a duration. Also, this number is still a tentative. CMS already calculated each activity member which are required for each activity and each member which are required to be provided each day for each activity as we'll see later now we have the word activity and man power let's go again for the schedule by next or by going for schedule and develop schedules we'll find here the duration are 900 and we can see now a clear bar chart showing us our work program and time schedule. Another step is required to ensure that we have a proper duration for each activity. For example, we need to have a look for each activity and to ensure the duration for each activity are applicable. We'll just have a look for the numbers of the activity. If we find an unlogic number, so that means we need to change the duration by changing the manpower for each for this activity for example the slab on, the slab on grade here will be finished in two days is it logic for us or not if it's okay for us so we'll keep it if not and we need to increase the days let's go to change the manpower for this activity and we'll see the impact for example we need to increase this activity to be to finish in almost 10 days how we'll do this one? We'll go for also double activity and you choose the slab on grade, which required to change its duration. This need to be 10. We'll check which manpower are the governor of changing of this activity. We'll find here the self fixers because it have here amend days. So this one will change the manpower and instead of 65, we'll try 10. We'll find here almost 11 days if it's accepted for us, so it is okay. But we'll find here the total duration is also changed. So in this case, we have to go again for goal seek to change the member to turn back for the required. But before before doing this step, let's check also all the required activities which is not which have the unlogic activity or the unlogic duration according to our discretion. We'll have a look for the schedule and again let's see which have unaccepted duration. Maybe the fine flooring and the extended cladding have very less duration. We can change also in the productivity by increasing the manpower. If the productivity is okay for us, so let's change the manpower. We can provide maybe 10 and they can finish in this way. As we told that this number is changing, so we need to change the manpower instead of 65 by goal seek 900 days by changing of this cell. Okay, now we are seeing the goal seek have a conversion between 898 and he didn't stop. So in this case. 
cancel and you can choose instead of 900 we will choose 898 by changing the cell and okay now it's reached otherwise if we failed to do this step we can make it manually by because already we are talking about one or two labor difference we can also do it manually by changing this by changing this manually After this, we'll go for step five, which is click to render. Same as we render the schedule to continue. Click OK and wait. Project schedule is ready. Thanks for waiting. Now we have project schedule with all calculated activities and planned value. Duration for each activity, plan to start and the plan to finish, and all the power charts required. Like this, we already finished developing our schedule. Now we'll find after CMS completed developing our schedule, we'll see how CMS will create and produce for us project cash flow. In schedule, we'll go for the cost baseline and cash flow CMS will direct us for two main steps first one CMS will produce for us an expenses and the budgeted cash flow which is related to our project budget the other step will see how CMS will create for us a cash flow related to the revenue and the net cash flow which is the variance between the revenues and the expenses as we'll see now we'll go for the first step the expenses and budgeted cash flow we will find cms directed us for this page we'll follow the steps step one click to run cms completed step one go to step two okay that's step two cms will start rendering now Okay. Baseline is ready. Thanks for waiting and go to step three. Step three. Now we have the expenses cash flow. How much we have to expense every month? The cumulative monthly, the S curve for the cost baseline. And also the progress base line. What the percentage will be completed every month according to our plan. So that's the cash flow related to the expenses. Go back. We'll go now for the revenue and the net cash flow. We'll see now how CMS will provide for us cash flow for our income and tell us what is the net cash flow for our project which is the variance between the coming payments and the expenses. Let's click. We'll find here CMS asking us to follow these steps. First step is to modify the cell as required. CMS directed us here. He is asking for the required days for payments receiving after issuing the payment certificate. What does it mean? Normally after you complete your work every month, you shall issue a payment certificate as a contract for the client or for the consultant to receive your monthly payment. There is a certain barrier between issuing the payment certificate till you receive the money in your account. During this period, you have to continue your work. You cannot stop. So you have some contract obligation which shall be identified in this cells. First one, as we said, you will put how many days the difference between issuing the payment and receiving the money. CMS consider it here as a 65 days. If you agree in your contract about any other days, you shall insert it. If you can do this in 30 days, insert 30 days. If you agree with the client or the consultant, you will do this in 90 days, you will add 90 days. 
That's according to your contract obligations. Second thing, we need to add the deduction, which shall be deducted from your payments every month. If you took an advance payment, you have to insert the percentage of the advance payment against to the project value. Same as considering here you took 10%. Of course, if you have another percentage, you have to add. If you took 20, if you took 5, according to your contract obligations. Why you have to insert the advance payment? Because according to your advance payment percentage, the same percentage must be cut every month from each payment. Plus another 10% again is the retention. This also according also the contract obligation. Whatever you have in your contract, you have to insert it here. If you have any other deduction related to any other things, either performance bond, any other insurance, whatever, you have to insert it here. Accordingly, this percentage will be cut from every payment every month. After you will modify the sales, we we'll go for step two, which is click only to proceed. CMS will direct us for this page. What is this page? This is showing us the activities and the budgeted value for each activity, which is the amount which shall be expended to complete the activity. Plus here the POQ price of each activity, considering the deduction, which we spoke about a while ago. For example, for the watering, Considering here the budget value is 1 million, the POQ price, considering the deduction, is 906. What does it mean? It mean the POQ price of the daughtering minus the deduction, which is the 20% of the same, equals 906, 800,000. So here is the amount of the POQ considering the deduction. Here we have also the planned start and the planned finish for each activity according to the planned time schedule. And here the payment dates, when you will execute and when you will receive your payment, when you will execute and when you receive your payment for each activity. This came here automatically. Now we'll follow the steps, click to run. Go to step two. Click to prepare. Okay. Then we'll go for step three. Click to render. Okay. Net cash flow is ready. Go to report. That's the summary of the report. Here, same as give you a chart showing the expenses and the payments. Here is the income payment, which is the green color. As we informed before that we took already 10% in the beginning of the project as an advance, so it shows here. And every interim payment shows when it will be taken. Again, it's this CMS also shows what are the expenses every month in this chart and also in a table and cumulative showing how both the income and the outgoing will be intersected and this graph showing what is the net cash flow every month and what is the maximum negative cash flow during the project according to this we'll have maximum negative cash flow with this amount and by the table and the graph, we will know when we'll have this negative cash flow to arrange our funding. Like this, CMS give you a full picture for your project, how you will deal in the contract, what the steps you have to take to ensure minimum negative cash flow. By this way, if you cannot provide funding for this time, maybe you need to increase the advance payment. For example, if you have a 10% advance payment, we need almost $9 million. But if we increase the advance payment, like this, take 20% instead of 10%, we can see the negative cash flow is changed. And of course, all the graphs and charts are changed accordingly. And all this will be automatic. All this will help you to take a proper decision 
according to your project and according to your financial and funding from your sources. That's how CMS creates a full cash flow for your project automatically. The next output from CMS is the manpower histogram. Also, by following the steps, click to run. Go to step 2. Click to render. CMS gives us a full manpower histogram for all civil manpower. Carpenters, steel fixers, masons, tile fixers, plasters, and for the total civil. For example, here for carpenter, we have for each week how many manpower we need every day. Steel fixers, the same. Masons, the same. How many masons and along with their labor. Tile fixers, how many tile fixers along with their labor. Plasterers. And that's the total civil manpower during your project. And this will be reduced by CMS automatically. According to this manpower histogram, you can determine the capacity of the company which are required to implement this project. You can determine also the manpower which are required to implement this project in your company. And as we saw, all this will come to you automatically by CMS. Now all the output for scheduling are completed. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.